So I've started the recording. So tell me a little about yourself, Ahmed. Tell me a little about yourself and your goals. Uh, well, actually, uh, I'm a job holder. I have, uh, I'm a private job holder. And I'm trying to improve my English so that I can uh, improve, uh, so that I can get a good job. Okay. Or better than it. So, Ahmed, when I hear that you are a private job holder, that seems to say that you are self-employed or you are an entrepreneur. Is that what you want me to know? No. Oh. Actually, uh, I'm an employee of a company. I work for PepsiCo. Okay, so you are an employee and you work yeah. for a company. Okay, super, super, super. How long have you worked for your company? Uh, it's almost three years. Okay, good, good for you. Are you in management positions now? No, no, I'm non-management. Would you like to be in management? Yeah, that's why I need to improve myself. Okay, well, I can tell you oh, that I can tell you with the improvement of English, this will definitely position you. This will definitely position you better for learning conversational English. Hello, Ferdina. How are you? I'm fine. It's nice to see you today. Where do you live, Ferdina? Nice. Huh? Where do you live? In Bangladesh. You live in Bangladesh. Well, it's nice to meet you. Can you say hello to Ahmed? Yeah, sure. Okay, say hello to Ahmed. Ahmed, say hello to Fadina. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. This is Ahmed Hassan. Okay. Hello. So, all right. Ayan? Tell me a little about yourself and your goals. Uh, Ma'am, actually, I'm a teacher. It's been six years that I'm working as a teacher. Mm -hmm. And now I want to migrate to Canada. That's why oh. I want to improve my English. Okay. At what point in time do you... I was... Hello. Okay, so... Okay, that's wonderful for Dina. So for, for Dina. Years old, and uh, I can speak English. Okay, so for Dina, I'm going to invite you to my class tomorrow and we'll talk tomorrow. So I'm going to mute your microphone just for a moment, okay? All right, so Ayan, you yes, want what month, what year do you wish to go to Canada? Ma'am, so many relatives, my relatives are living there and they tell me about the uh, living uh, conditions of that country. So I'm mm -hmm. really fascinated to go okay. there. Wonderful. Have you visited there before? No, ma'am, I haven't visited yet. Okay. Will you be going? Because I didn't get visa. I was trying hard, but I couldn't get visa. Okay. Did you? So need... now I want to do eyes. Okay. So you have to pass the aisles in order to go? Uh, Ma'am, actually I had appeared once before and I got seven bands in, but now uh, I have to achieve 7.5. Okay. Do you know what, what, where was your low scores? Where were your low scores? In writing section, ma'am. Ah, okay. So I would recommend that you practice writing you can write in, you can join Tune Your English and you can practice writing in there because if you do not practice writing, I think it's still going to be difficult for you to pass the writing. Yeah. So this would yes, be a good place for you to practice writing. All right, thank you so much for that. It's nice to know thank, both thank of you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. This is my promotional for the free class that you are attending today. I am going to ask you to do certain things. Ahmed, you have already started that process. I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And with each video that you watch, I would like for you to comment on the video. When you do so, it helps me with the algorithms in YouTube 
to get the exposure. This is in exchange for paying for the class. Now, every class that you come to may not be of value to you, and I don't necessarily teach classes specific to what you need for free, but I do teach classes for students who are willing and are able to pay for the content. So, Ayan, if you need help with your IELTS and you want to pay for those classes, I would be happy to help you with that. If not, you can just watch the videos, comment on the videos, and come to the free classes as you wish. The same would be true for you, Ahmed. So, Ahmed and Ayan, let me ask the two of you to indulge me as I allow Pradina to read something. Then I'm going to let her go because the conversation probably is not going to be beneficial to her. Does that make sense? Okay, ma'am. Ahmed, does that make sense? Ahmed, does that make sense? Did you, uh, did you understand? Just repeat it again. I said for five minutes, I'm going to teach Ferdina a lesson because our conversation oh. is greater than her so she can go and play or do something else. All right? All right. Oh, yeah. So you, you okay. all can encourage her as well. So you can find some hands and clap when she does something really unique. So Fadina, I've unmuted your microphone. Can you hear me now, Fadina? Yes. OK. What grade are you in, Fadina? I can't hear you, Fredina. Fredina, I cannot hear you. Your first grade? Second grade? What grade are you? Okay, I want you to read this story for me. Here's a little story. Let me find my little story for you. And I had another student just a few days ago, or today actually, and he read this story. We'll just read one page. We'll just read one page of the story and talk about the story. It's about a bird. Do you have a pet for Dina? Do you have a pet? No, I don't. Okay. Well, that's okay. Now I'm going to share my screen. Everyone should be able to see my screen. Fredina, did you see my screen? It says, hello, Coco. Do you see that? Okay, and Coco is a bird. What type of bird is that? A parrot. That's right, this is a parrot. And let's see, one more. I can see that someone wrote something, but I can't find out where that something is. Chat. Oh, that was Ayan saying hello, ma'am. Okay, so now Coco is a bird. Coco is called the perfect pet. He's the perfect pet. Could you read this for me, Rodina? Yes. Okay, read for me. Yes. Matt lives with his grandmother. Medina, let me speak to your mom or your dad. Is your mom or dad there? My father is over here. Let me speak to your father. Well, ask your father to read the screen. She has the mouthpiece in her mouth. 
she has it in her mouth. Uh -huh. She has to remove yeah. the mouth piece from inside her mouth. Okay. Okay, understood. All right, Medina. Medina, could you continue to read for me? Yeah, yeah, please. Matt lives with his grandmother. Nana, he said. Nana? 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 We should get a pet. A pet is good to keep, keep you company when when I'm at school, I like some copies in math, but what a pet should we get? We don't have much space here. Very nicely read. Now, let's look at this picture for Dina. Who is this? Who is this? Yes, that's grandmother. Who is this? What's his name? Nana? Matt. Oh, Matt. Yes, this is Matt. What is Nana, what is grandmother doing? Watering the plants. Yes, she's watering the plants. Are they inside, outside, or on the balcony? Where are they? On the balcony. Yes, they're on the balcony. Is it raining? No, it's sunny. Yes, it is sunny. Yes, that's great. So Ayan, because this was this is a lesson for elementary, I just wanted to have um, for Dina to speak. We're done. So now I'm going to stop sharing my screen. So for Dina, you did really great. I'm Ed. Give for Dina a hand clap. Clap for clap for her. You did great. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Thank, thank you for Dina. So let me speak to your dad. Let me speak to your dad. Let me speak to your dad. Hello. Hello. Thank you so much for allowing. Hello, thank you for allowing Hello. for. Hello, can you hear me? Are you able to hear me? Yes. All right, let's see. I'm, I'm really happy to see you. I'm really glad yes. to have you again. My kids inside. Uh, yesterday I told about her. Uh, I get a chance today, so I give them, give her to connect and share with you something. Hello. Uh. Thank you.
Okay, bye for Dina. Goodbye for Dina. All right, Ayan. Ayan, are you here? Yes, ma'am. Ayan? Yes, ma'am. That doesn't sound like a yawn. <laughs> a yawn doesn't sound that a yawn. Mama, are you? Mama, Mama, she what? was my mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you were the one that was asking, could you participate? I thought it was your mother. So how are you? How old are you? How old are you? Mama, I am fine. Mama, I am 11 years old. Okay, you are 11 years old. All right. So you can speak English well. It seems that you can speak English well. That's great. I'm happy that you're able to speak English. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. All right, Ahmed. What areas do you feel that you need the most help? How can how would you like for me to try and assist you today, Ahmed? Ahmed. Uh, I, uh, I'd like to speak like a native speaker. Okay. That's so fine. Ahmed, when you say that you would like to speak like a native speaker, maybe in Bangladesh, there are not a lot of people that you get to practice speaking English with. I could be wrong. Yeah. So my question is, are there a lot of people in Bangladesh that you get to speak English with? Do you get no, to practice actually, English? I have some friends mm -hmm. uh, who I don't, who I talk with, uh, speak, who I speak with them uh, in English. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, well, and that's good. Because if you have just one friend or two, try to speak English with them as frequently as you can. The more practice you put into speaking English, the easier it becomes for you to speak English. Even if you can't speak and practice with your friends every day, try to do some reading in English. Try to listen to YouTubes, listen to podcasts, listen to TV, listen to as much English as you can, as often as you can. And this will start to flood your brain with English, almost to the point that you're like, I can't stand it, I can't take anymore. But if you really want to become proficient in English and fluent, this is what is going to be required for it to come easily for you. Do you understand? Yeah, thank you, ma'am. Okay, hello, Bahat. Could you pronounce your name for me? That would be G-H-A-N-S-H-Y-A-M. Could you pronounce your name for me? Hello, uh, good evening, uh, Dr. Priscilla. This hello. is Gansham Buddy speaking. Gansham. Gansham Buddy. Well, it's nice to have you join us today. How Same are you, here. How are you doing today? Uh, doing well, thank you. What about you, Dr. I'm, Priscilla? I'm doing fantastic. And where are you from? I am from Nepal, yes. Okay, and I'm learning more and more about geography. So where is Nepal? Is Nepal close to Bangladesh? Yes, it is in Asia. Nepal is one of the Sark nations. How is entire America? Say the last part. How is your city? How is the U.S.? Oh, <laughs> the U.S. I am doing fine in the U.S. I live in the state of North Carolina. And right. in North Carolina, 
which is one of the 50 states, but of the 50 states, we are all suffering with COVID-19. And yes. in the state of California, they are having a terrible time with forest fires at the moment. But other than the COVID-19 in North Carolina, it's a beautiful day, the weather's beautiful, and it feels still like summer, but it's almost, I think it's fall, August. Yeah, I think we're in the fall, but it's very nice here, very nice. Gasham, Ahmed is from Bangladesh, Ayan is from India. Right now, I think I'm talking to her 11-year-old son, but we'll get back to him in just a moment. What are some of the things that you have concerns about, Gashan, in terms of speaking English? What are some of your concerns, if you have any? Or what are your needs? How can I help you? Dr. Priscilla, I, I have been taking your sessions for many days. Uh, though two, three weeks I miss your sessions. Otherwise, I had been a very regular attendee of your sessions. Not only me, some of my students, uh, what colleagues, my family members, they have been attending your sessions. So it is a sheer pleasure to attend your sessions. You have been helping uh, uh, what, uh, us with uh, making English practical. How can we learn English? Your lessons, I do share with my students as well. Okay. You have been a very practical teacher. You pass on some suggestions and recommendations. Uh, you, uh, this, uh, you advise all the students to be active, uh, to use everything what they learn. So uh, you, are, you are making English easy all over the world. Though you are a Native American, yet uh, others, those who attend your sessions, they are really learning uh, English well, because you make English easier for the listeners. It's a pleasure to attend your sessions, Dr. Fisher. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much for saying that. And Gashem, I want to share this with you as I had shared it with Ahmed earlier when I first came on. In many instances, I hear students say, I want to practice English. I have no one to practice English with in my country they will also say that they can't hear or understand what the individual is saying when they're speaking English. What I am offering for a short period of time is something that is completely free. However, in exchange for what I'm providing free, the student must give something in return. So I'm going to give you an example. When I was going to school for my doctorate degree, there were things that I had to do that I would be like, I would be so tired. And I didn't want to open up my book. And I didn't want to go to work the next day. But I had to go to work for eight hours. I had a son that I had to come home and take care of. And then I had school two hours a night and I could barely keep my eyes open, but I did what I needed to do for three years, three and a, three and a half years to get my doctorate because I set up the goal. This is what I want to do. So when I hear students say, I've offered free classes. Well, let me ask, Gang, gang, are you a member of Tune in English or are you a member of Speak Excellent English? Which one? Yeah. Which one? I am a member of I'm a member of Speak Excellent English. Okay. I used to be among Abhi, uh, Lakshmi. Uh, we used to be your uh, what uh, students for many days. Yes. But that. in between, I didn't see you online. That's why I'm searching for you for many days. Okay, so let me tell you what happened. Ahmed, for 30 days, every day I gave free classes every day at the same time. And I asked the students to do one thing, watch the video and make a comment on the video. So after 30 days, I think, I think about 20 students came every day, almost every day. It was a lot of students, but I only had three students that posted on the videos. 
So for that reason, it says to me that there was not that much value in what I was doing because in exchange, instead of giving me money, I asked the students to just do this thing, but they didn't do this thing. So the same will be true for this group that is coming today. You can continue to come, but I will ask that you do something in exchange of money. You don't have to watch all of the videos. You don't have to watch the intro video. Just watch part of the video that interests you and leave a comment on the video. If you don't leave a comment on the video, then when I decide I won't invite you to free classes, you will not be invited to free classes. Does that make sense, Ahmed? Yeah. I, okay. I but if you but you can always watch the videos, but you don't necessarily get the real time with me where I will actually speak to you. So Gasham, in fact, I can't really say that I remember that you posted anything on any of the videos, but I'm happy that you are here. And maybe I didn't make it clear that that would be what I need students to do. Also, Gasham, if you have uh, seven or more students that would like to have classes with me and they don't have to pay for the classes, if they're ready to commit to commenting on the videos, they can join just your class can join the videos, I mean, join a class with me. But I will require them to do something in exchange. All right, so let me talk to Richa. Richa, are you there now? Richa? <laughs> or did your mom come back? Richa? All right. Eka, E-K-A, could you say hello? What is your name, Eka? Am I pronouncing your name correctly, E-K-A? Yes, hello, my name is Eka. Yes, you are pronouncing my name correctly, E-K-A. And where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from Georgia, Tbilisi. Okay, so where is, I just kind of have an idea now of where Bangladesh is. Are you close to Bangladesh? No, not very close. Okay. I'm close to Armenia, also Baku, Turkey. Okay, Turkey. Turkey, I know. <laughs> yeah, no okay. Turkey. All right. Well, welcome to class. How can I help Thank you? you me. How can I help you with your conversational English? Mm, yeah, I'm just preparing for FC exam, and uh, I wanted to practice my English with what you. Does, what does FC stand for? Uh, FC is for, uh, I mean, uh, this B2 level, English level test. Okay, I'm not familiar. I may be familiar with it, but I don't know that I'm familiar with the FC exam. And what is it? Does it have a specific purpose? Is it for medical or for legal? Uh, uh, it's for just to continue learning English. And uh, if we want to continue your master's degree here in Georgia, you have to pass this B2 level English. So uh, that's why I'm preparing for um, uh, passing it. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it will be in December, but uh, uh, due to this pandemic situation, maybe it will change. So mm -hmm. I have some time to prepare for that. What does the F stand for? FCE. Yeah, what does the F stand for? FCE is uh, English level test. I know, but well, the F must stand for something. Let's see. Uh, first certificate. Okay. Okay. And FCE exam. Uh, fundamentals. All right, I'll look at it a little later to see how I might be able to help you with that exam if you need to. Uh, so so it, if you have uh, done this B2 level, it shows that uh, they, Cambridge uh, will give you the certificate, yes? Okay. If I'm correctly explaining. Okay, I'll look it up myself and try to find out. So, okay, okay. Richa, are you still there? Oh, I'm I, human. 
Hey, Ayan. Okay, so you went away, and then there was perhaps your son, and I had actually, actually, ma'am, I was uh, I was making dinner for my family. That's why I told him to attend the session and tell me that mom what ma'am have said. Okay, and he had asked. Could he answer the questions that I was asking? Um, okay. For for dinner, but I thought it was you that was asking, so I didn't let him participate because I thought it was you. But anyway, um, maybe he can join another class at another time that would be more appropriate for children or something like that. Okay, ma'am. Uh, so what I have heard now from Ahmed, Ahmed, I think is going to benefit just from having the opportunity to ha engage in conversation. It doesn't need to be about anything very specific, but just engage in conversation. Eka, you have a specific um, focus, and I'm going to say for now, B2 would be being able to speak with fluency and comprehension. When you speak, when you read something, you should be able to talk about it. That would apply to you, Ahmed, but you do not have a specific purpose. Uh, Rika, I think you're interested in passing the aisles, which is probably similar to the FCE, at least the conversational piece, being able to, in your case, uh, I am to be able to speak for two minutes with fluency and using specific phrasal verbs and academic vocabulary. And Gasham, as a teacher, I believe you are a teacher with other students, your students are benefiting from having sessions with me. So I'm going to have a private short class session with you, Gasham, to find a good time for us to just meet for a little while, just to get a feel for what it is that your students need. Uh, while I'm doing this, my purpose, Ahmed, my purpose, Eka, Ayan, and Gasham, is to build my exposure on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I just want you to know that this is why I'm offering you the free classes. If you're not willing to participate in the way that I need you to participate, then this is not for you. And it's perfectly fine because there are so many other people that are doing the same thing that I'm doing that may better serve you. So we'll just talk more about that a little bit later. Now, let me just dive into a lesson for today. This video that I'm going to post on YouTube, I'm going to post this video for one, two, three, four, for five of you. And this is, or four of you, one, two, three, four. So this is what I'll be expecting. I'll be expecting that you at least subscribe to the YouTube channel, yes, and leave a comment. You don't have to watch the entire video because you are already here. You don't have to watch the entire video, but I need the interaction. I need you to say something. It was a great video, or thank you for the class, or I look forward to the next class. I need you to say something so that you will get an invitation. Other people will get an invitation as well, but I will be giving them the same information that I'm giving to you. Now, I want to make sure that everyone understands what I've said. Yeah, ma'am, sure. Ahmed, do you understand? Yeah. Yeah, I understand. Gashem, do you understand? Ganshem? Ganshem, do you understand? Okay, so let's see. Gashem, your microphone is open. So probably you have walked away. So um, Rick, um, Ayan? Remember when I said that you would need to have your video working? Yes, ma'am. This is why I say you need to have your video working. I need to know that you're actually sitting here in the session with me. <laughs> okay, ma'am. Now it could be that you have something to do, and I understand that, but now I think I've been waiting for Gashem for at least one minute to say something. So this tells me, or it suggests, to me that he's not here. And although I don't have 10 people in the class, 
But if I did have someone waiting to come in, he would be using that space that we don't need. So I'm going to actually take him from this space and remove him, remove him from the space. Now I know that I'm actually talking to someone. I'm going to share my screen now. And yeah. So now I have someone else coming into the waiting room. I'm coming in from the waiting room. So that would be up there. And I'll let you know ahead of time when I'm having scheduled classes. This is not a scheduled one. This is because I have time. And if you have to go, that's perfectly fine. I've introduced you to what I want you to know to for today. And let's see. I'm going to go to a lesson called Breaking News English. Pringles. Okay, I'm just going to show you a, a very quick lesson for now. Maybe we'll spend maybe five minutes on this lesson once I get it open. Two page mini lesson. Hello, Ahmed, how are you? Hello, Ahmed, how are you? Ahmed Sabir. Ahmed Sabir, how are you? Ahmed Sabir, how are you? Ahmed Sabir, how are you? I'm fine. Thank you. What about you? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you so much. All right, I'm going to stop sharing my screen now and I'm going to share with you the, a lesson for today. Ahmed Ashan, can you hear me? Can you see my screen, Ahmed yeah. Ashan? Yeah, I can. Fantastic. Could you read for me this Pringles unveils new recyclable paper packaging? Could you read that for me? Yeah. Yes, Tom. No, no, Ahmed. Ahmed. Ahmed is going to read for me. Mm. Are you able to read for me? Yeah. You may start. The potato chip maker, Pringles, has improved its packaging. Pringles is well known for its large round stacked grips as well as for its cylinder cylindrical container however the container has been criticized for being bad for the environment a lot of the criticism was because the tube was almost impossible to recycle the bbc news agency said the container was a recycles recycles nightmare it might have looked simple, but it was made up of multiple materials. It had okay, the plastic. Let, let, let's stop right there. Thank you for reading. Very nice reading. Can you tell me what, what you've read? Tell me about what you've read. How do you understand what you've read? What is this about? Um, I couldn't get this topic. Okay, so let me tell you, and then I'm going to ask you, because again, the purpose is not so much to make sure that you are reading. Well, it is to read, but I want to make sure you can comprehend and for you to be able to speak about it. So this is about recyclable. Do you know what the meaning of recyclable is? Yeah. What, does, re what does recyclable mean? Oh, just Recyclable means the, the, the uh, substance used again. Very good. So this is a potato chip. We call them potato chips in the US. In the UK, they call them crisps. 
but we call them potato chips in the US, all right? So this container, it's a long tube-like container that these potato chips comes in. So this is called a Pringle potato chip. We call these Pringles potato chips. They're round or they're kind of scooped out like. They're just different. It's like a scoop. You see, it's like a U or something, like a mouth or a tongue. So the complaint, yeah. the complaint is that this container that the potato chip comes in is not easily recyclable. Do you understand what I just said? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Can you tell me what I just said? Yeah, the container is exactly the potato chips comes in that is not recyclable. It's not easily recyclable. No. What, tell me about it again? It's not easily recyclable. Okay, and when I say it's not easily recyclable, it doesn't mean that it can't be, it's just not easy to do so. Oh. All right, thank you, thank you for reading. So, Ayan, could you read for us now? Let's see, where will you start? Ayan, are you here? Yes, ma'am. Could you read for us, please? Uh, ma'am, from uh, a lot of the criticism, ma'am. Should I start from here? You will, you will start here. The BBC News. Okay, ma'am, okay. Oh, the no, BBC I, 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 I think it's here. I think it's here. A lot of. Yeah, a lot of the criticism. Yes, start there. Uh, okay, ma'am. A lot of the criticism was because the tube was almost impossible to recycle. The BBC News Agency said the container was a recycles, recycler's nightmare. It might have looked simple, but it was made up of multiple materials. It had a plastic cap, a metal base, an al aluminum tier of cover, and a foil lined cardboard tube. This all made it nearly impossible for people to separate and recycle the container. The Recycling Association called it one of the villains of the recycling world. Very good. Did you understand what you read? Yes, ma'am. Hey, tell me what does it mean? Um, uh, ma'am, villains? Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am, uh, because, because it was contrary uh, to what they were, uh, uh, they wanted it. So that's why I think it is called villain because it was not suitable. Very good. That's correct. What about nightmare? A nightmare, ma'am. Uh, a bad dream, like a, a recycler's nightmare means um, they, it was not something they wanted. Very good. Something that is not desired. Excellent. Desirable, yes. Now, in, in your own words, you can use the word villains and nightmare. Tell me about this part that you read. Summarize that part for me. Okay, ma'am. Uh, one second, please. Ma'am, according to BBC News Agency, uh, they said that uh, this container was not as good as they want, as they, it should be. Mm -hmm. It okay. might have looked simple, but it was made up, uh, uh, because it was made up, made up of multiple uh, materials. Okay. It had a plastic cap, which is not good, metal base, it had aluminum tier of cover, it had... Okay, so... That's good, Ian. And in terms of responding, if this was something like a an IELTS question, you, it might be, can you describe something that would have been considered a nightmare? And you might say, yes, I can remember reading once about an article. I believe it was Pringles. It had something to do with the potato chips, and the potato chips were in a container that was a was a nightmare. And the reason it was considered a nightmare is because it was something that was very difficult to accept or to deal with. Okay, uh, Ahmed, Ahmed Sabir, uh, yes. could you read for us? Yes. Could you read for uh, us? From uh, where? From, from here. Uh, yes, I can. 
Chiefs. At Hello. I can hear you at Pringles. Uh, where, uh, from where I should read? From which line? Here. In fact, uh, I could not hear uh, your all lectures because of signal falling here. That's okay. Could you just read? That's okay. You could just start reading here. Okay, okay. I am going to read. Okay, okay. Uh, Chief said Pringles went back to the drawing board to make the packaging easier to recycle. They spent 12 months designing a new tube. This move was part of the company's promise to switch to 100% part, uh, re reusable. A recyclable or uh, compostable packaging by the year 2000. 25. A company spokesman said, we are uh, eager to play our part and reduce our impact on the planet. And okay. Pringles fans okay, that's, that's fine. expect that that's of fine. us. What does this word compostable mean? Do you know what compostable mean? Uh, which word? Compostable. Compostable. Compostable uh, means the materials that uh, may be compost. Yeah. Compost means. Okay, it means to recycle, uh, recycle something. It's just reusing it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What? So, can you tell me what this part is about that you just read? Uh, in fact, I could not uh, got uh, all the meaning in uh, in the part that I have read. Okay. Because so I also be nervous. So we have yeah. the word drawing board, and that just means that we're going to rethink drawing board. We're going to redesign something. We're going to go back and rethink. Hmm, how should we do that? That's going to the drawing board, and they have already spent twelve months designing a new design for this container right. for potato chips, all right? And now I'll read the last. And Pringles fans expect that of us. And, and Pringles fans expect that of us too. Yes. So we worked hard to come up with this new can, which is widely recyclable and keeps our chips fresh and tasty and protects them from breaking up, which helps to reduce food waste. However, the new design still has a plastic lid. The Recycling Association said this would just add to plastic pollution. So some progress has been made. They've changed the container bottom or the container itself. The only thing that they didn't change was the top that closes the Pringles. Now, if you don't know what a Pringles can is, that would make it a little difficult to explain. And I'm going to tell you what this article is about. This article itself is about a container for potato chips. The problem with this container is that it has so many different components that it makes it difficult to recycle because it's paper, it's tin, it's plastic, and so many other things. Whereas if I want to recycle this paper here, it's just paper. But with the Pringles container, it's five different things that they have to do something with. So they've decided to go to the drawing board and rethink what they've created and make something different. Okay, does that make sense? Do you have questions, Ayan? Questions, Ayan? Yes, ma'am. What question do you have? No, um, I understood, ma'am. Okay, Ahmed, do you have questions? No, ma'am, I got. Uh, no, no question. All right, okay. Ahmed Sabir, do you have questions? Oh, no question. 
All right, so here is your challenge for today and then we will end the class. We will look at the vocabulary words here in the synonym match. When we look at the vocabulary words, we see, uh, let's see, maker, recycle, base, separate, villains, move, switch, eager, tasty, and lid. I want you to be able to tell me something about this article and use at least three of these words. I'll show you an example of what I am talking about as I retell you the story. This article is about the makers of the container for the Pringles potato chips. They are concerned that it's difficult to separate the materials into recyclable usage. The company has decided that they will switch from the old way, but they will keep the plastic lid. The potato chips are really tasty, but as it is now, the containers are really considered to be a great nightmare and the villain of recycling. So they're moving into a different direction and we're eager to see what they decide to do. All right, who would like to go first? I only need you to use three of the words just so that you can start learning how to use words in context, not just have a vocabulary, but to be able to use words in context. All right, who would like to go first? All right, so if no one goes first, then I'm going to end the class because I think I was only planning to be here for an hour. So no one wants to speak, no one wants to try. I All, right. All right then, Ahmed, thank you for stepping up. All right, you may begin. Ahmed. Um, container, uh, the, uh, the con container maker thinks that they should, uh, they should recycle the container materials, but it is uh, too, too difficult to separate the, all the um, materials from them, from there. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Yay. And this is all that is required. Just force yourself to do a little bit and then you can go on. All right, so Ayan, let's see if you can choose another three words, not the same ones, hopefully. Ayan? Ayan, are you there? Your microphone is muted, Ayan. Ayan, your microphone is muted. Will you try? Ayan, will you try? Ma'am, ma'am, uh, sorry, what to do with these words? Okay, I ask you to use three of these words to tell me about the article. Okay. Um. Ma'am, I don't think that I, I would be able uh, to use this word in the context. Okay. Tell me what you remember about the article. Ma'am, uh, the article was about that uh, um, the manufacturing, uh, uh, the packaging of uh, uh, that chips was not appropriate. It was not as it should be because it was made of so many substances which were not good. And because of that, what did the company decide to do? What did the company decide to do? Thought to switch the packaging. Very good. And did they switch all 
of the packaging or did they keep one part the same? Uh, did people enjoy eating the, the chips? Yes, ma'am, because they were, uh, they were too tasty to eat, so. Very good. And in, in addition to this process of the container being a nightmare, how else did they see this container? The manufacturers were be become the villains because it was not beneficial for the health. Exactly. Okay. So this is what you'll need to be able to do, Ayan. You'll need to be able to use words in a different and unique way when you're um, speaking, hopefully, on the honors exam. I want to say thank you so much for joining me today. It was my pleasure. I will post this video on YouTube. I will expect that at least the two of you will make a comment and I will have, I will send you invitations to other classes that I will hold. Uh, I know other people were here, but other people are not here right now. But at, at some point I will get to the point of these will be the people that I will be working with while I'm building my community on YouTube. It was my pleasure. Thank you so much for staying with me. Typically, we will only be here for 30 minutes, not for an hour. Any comments before we go? It was a beneficial session, ma'am. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. It's my pleasure. Ahmed, anything you wish to say? Yeah, it was really unexplainable, unexplainable uh, feelings. But okay, I, uh, and so when we say unexplainable, it would be indescribable. It was an indescribable experience for me today. That would probably be a better way to say what you just said. Thank you so much. I appreciate yeah. you guys. Have a nice day. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Bye.